Thank you very much for the introduction of me, please. And uh, my name is again Kevin Ree. Uh, I'm with uh, the uh, QC Lab, which is, uh, stands for the uh, Quantum Industry Leaders Association, uh, Leaders Industrial Association in Korea. And I'm also uh, the, with the uh, company, uh, uh, Qnova Computing. And the Qnova Compu Computing uh, is the, uh, the vice chair company of the, uh, the association. Um, yeah, so, so I can skip this one. Okay. So uh, historically, uh, Korea is, was kind of a, a little bit slow on the quantum uh, technology de uh, development, development. Even though we had a really good, you know, put, uh, the uh, positioning with, uh, uh, you know, semiconductor and other the quantum technology related industry, but the uh, quantum information side. Uh, Korea has uh, has studied a, a little bit late uh, in, uh, in the national wide, but we do have a lot of good researchers in this uh, this area. And uh, I mean, we have in terms of the, the counting number of papers, the number of patents. So those are um, uh, reasonably strong compared with the economy size of the Korea. You know, with respect to the uh, global economy size. Um, however, there was no focused effort to put these uh, these uh, you know these strength together to build a good you know the quantum information uh, the industry uh, uh, by the uh, national uh, the uh, focus. So, so very recently, our Korean government started putting more, uh, more uh, the interest and efforts on this side, and. Uh, uh, in the last several years, we uh, observed the, you know, twofold uh, the in increase in the annual invest investment in the uh, quantum information R and D uh, by uh, you know twofold increase every year. So uh, this is a kind of indication of how you know it, the government uh, recognized it as a you know, really Im important area to grow. And uh, in response to that uh, that kind of uh, you know government effort. The Korea, the, uh, the research community is responding to uh, uh, responding with uh, initiating gather, gathering of multidisciplinary uh, talents, and also uh, the in industry uh, side. Uh, you know, we start industry alliance to uh, collaborate for uh, best business uh, solutions and the uh, uh, models too. Okay, so. Um, so if we just review our uh, the Korean R&D uh, the uh, uh, budget in Korea, uh, we we are uh, investing 4.8 percent of national GDP uh, in uh, in R&D. Uh, this this is a second high uh, in, in the uh, in the the world uh, you know e economy. So for example, you know if this so this again the. Uh, it is 4.8 percent of G, uh, GDP, which is about five. Uh, you know, the, uh, I'm sorry, that's, that's about 100 billion dollars a year, and uh, 30 percent of that is, uh, you know, uh, the invested by government, and also about 70 uh, percent of that is uh, invested by uh, private sectors, uh, such as in you know, Samsung and SK Hynix. Those are the biggest, you know, the industry uh, players of, of, you know, the investing on the. Uh, in the R and D uh, activities. Um, on the on another side, uh, Korea uh, IT uh, Korea is an IT powerhouse in the in sense uh, in a sense of the uh, the game software industry. Uh, we take uh, roughly uh, ten percent of the uh, game software market in Korea. By the way, Korea has just the five percent of uh, global uh, economy contribution. Uh, so uh, you know, this is about twice bigger or stronger uh, the uh, industry player. And the Korean government has set up on some uh, the strategic planning to foster the quantum information industry. Uh, so the, uh, with the vision uh, of uh, following uh, the vision like this. So vision is from digital to quantum. Okay. And that should happen within the uh, next 10 years. And the uh, well, well, Korean uh, government uh, you know, sees that uh, the, the future industry will be uh, you know, uh, 
you know, based on the uh, quantum information technologies. And the goal of uh, fostering the uh, R&D community is like this one. So uh, we want to be uh, a leading country in the year 2030 uh, through st stimulating industry innovations and also strengthening the, de the national security. So basically, we see uh, the value of uh, quantum information technology in uh, two areas. One is uh, you know, security and uh, the, uh, the uh, I mean, the uh, info information security side. And the other is the, uh, uh, the, uh, the ordinary uh, industry uh, innovation side. And the co core technology that we are going to uh, provide is that, that we want uh, we are going to uh, you know, invest on the high-risk fundamental researches, and also we are going to bring up the workforce and the international collaborations, and also the, uh, uh, we will build the in, uh, research infrastructure, and we are going to find out the models of the industrialization models for the applications and the industry, uh, the uh, business models too. Um, so this kind of uh, you know uh, notion is uh, recognized by the, also the uh, president uh, presidential you know the, uh, the planning too, and uh, as you can see here uh, in this year, uh, the quantum information uh, technology area became one of the most uh, you know the most uh, invested area. I mean. Uh, interesting area uh, by the uh, presidential you know, the, uh, the strategic planning. And then, and uh, so based on this kind of environment, uh, we are, uh, the, you know, we define the eight areas uh, in the national strategic technologies and also four uh, areas in the essential basic technology area. Okay. So, you know, semiconductor display and secondary battery and advanced mo mobility, uh, next generation in nuclear power, leading edge bio and sp uh, space oceans industry, hydrogen uh, economy and cyber security industry and so on. Um, those are the national strategic technology area. Uh, uh, also, uh, we are fostering the fundamental uh, R&D side, that is, uh, AI and advanced robot, robotics and the manufacturing, you know, so next gen communication. And uh, this year we added the quantum technology as the one of the uh, uh, such kind of a, the uh, essential base tech, tech, technology area. So, um, so that this year uh, we are making plans to, uh, to uh, invest on quantum uh, technologies uh, about you know, for the next three years, with about you know three billion dollars uh, of the uh, the uh, the amount of the financial support, we have uh, set up the three phases of this in the uh, the, uh, the technology R and D roadmap. Uh, one is the basis uh, phase uh, until uh, next year. So, and then uh, the, uh, followed by the uh, applications phase. Uh, until year 2030, and we uh, finally uh, define the industrialization will happen uh, until uh, year 2035. And we have uh, you know, four uh, government agents uh, that, uh, that you know, manages, handles the, uh, this uh, investment. One is the National Research Fund. The other is uh, the, uh, uh, the IITP, which, which is uh, Internet and Information Technology Planning uh, the uh, institute, and also KISTEP, which is also the uh, uh, Korea uh, Institute for the S uh, Science and Technology Evaluation and uh, Planning. So these are uh, three, uh, you know, the government sectors will be handling the uh, planning and investment and uh, the managing the, uh, R the investment in R&Ds. Um, so uh, this effort will uh, define some core technologies, um, and uh, the core technology will, will be following. The, well, we are going to, you know, the, uh, the develop some high-risk uh, uh, fundamental research area, and also 
as I, as I said before, you know, we, we are interested in that, you know, bringing up the you know, workforce and international collaborations and uh, the research infrastructures and application industrialization efforts by the, uh, uh, by the following roadmap. So the, in the basis phase, uh, we will focus on development uh, of the core technology education and the uh, in the quantum workforce and also uh, in the application application you know, phase we are going to bring up feasibility proof in academic and industry applications and so that should happen within the next uh, uh, five to six years and then uh, in the, we are going to uh, the support the industrialization quantum technology by year 2035 so at this point we believe that uh, the uh, the uh, fourth industrial uh, revolution will be will continue uh, uh, in, on the basis of quantum technologies, uh, quantum information technologies, especially. So this one shows the uh, how uh, how the uh, investment on the uh, uh, R&D uh, sector uh, increases within Korea, and uh, it's uh, still it's a kind of not you know enough funding, uh, but the. Uh, yeah, it is enough in terms of the uh, the size of the community actually. So the community is not uh, not large enough yet, but we are uh, trying to gather more uh, talents in this area. So uh, the uh, this one includes the uh, uh, recruiting new uh, new uh, the beginners in this area, but also we are, are providing re-education of the uh, uh, talents from the uh, neighboring uh, the area too. Um, we set up some uh, plans to support, uh, I mean, uh, the uh, sponsor the research activities, uh, you know, uh, in the following technology areas. So, so one is the quantum computing technology, and uh, so five qubit uh, verification is done uh, this year, and also uh, that is, uh, you know, uh, extended with the quantum uh, communication, uh, quantum computing research. Uh, on infrastructure with uh, 50 qubit systems. So it's kind of uh, behind the uh, you know, schedule uh, compared with the global uh, the, uh, the progress. However, the important thing is we want to uh, you know, produce the talents in this area. So, so even though uh, uh, the product wise, it, uh, the roadmap is slightly behind, but we can, uh, in, in this uh, kind of platform, what we are going to do is we are going to secure our you know, the uh, uh, human resources in this area. That, that is more important than having the pro product itself uh, today. And, uh, and so we are uh, investing on the fundamental uh, technology of quantum computing and the quantum simulator for uh, new material researches and also exploring quantum uh, computing applications and so on. Uh, those, are, uh, uh, those programs are already initiated in this year. So, uh, we have a great hope that uh, these uh, areas will grow as uh, real industry applications and, uh, bring, and also bring up uh, really interesting business models for quantum computing applications. Uh, QIS, uh, Quantum Information and Science, okay. Uh, the, we, uh, we've been uh, building up ecosystems for it, and so we, have, uh, uh, we are very uh, you know, actively uh, in developing the international uh, co cooperations for quantum technology and quantum technology talents build up. So the, those programs are already uh, in place. So actually, uh, there will be a lot of Korean, uh, you know, the, uh, the entities are contacting the uh, overseas entities to bring up the, uh, the global, you know, the collaborations. So um, I will appreciate if you, if you have some interest in this area too. And quantum sensing technology, same, uh, uh, same, uh, similar, you know, strategies uh, is being, uh, you know, planned, and also, uh, as well, you know, quantum communications with the core technology development is being placed. Uh, so Korea, I think Korea has very active on uh, QKD de deployment. So like, you know, the, you know, Europe and also Japan, I think, uh, and China, and also Korea has a, a fairly large test bed. Uh, in a uh, commercial uh, the uh, network, so uh, it will be very interesting to have some collaboration and effort with the, uh, those countries who already has the uh, uh, QKD testbed. Okay. 
Um, so, so this year we launched the following uh, 12 uh, you know, new research programs. Okay, uh, one is the uh, uh, quantum computing uh, uh, and technology ver uh, verifications. Uh, so, what we are interested in is uh, to seeing, uh, really seeing the uh, quantum advantages uh, in quantum computing applications. So, uh, uh, government uh, they, you know, invest, invest, uh, invested on uh, five new projects that are just to focus on, uh, focus on the uh, developing the uh, models, application models that can uh, really show quantum advantages. Uh, that uh, the funding was about you know about thirty million dollars in this area, and also um, so uh, the another side is uh, well, we are uh, you know the investing in quantum fun, uh, fundamental technology quantum computing. Uh, we are uh, focusing in two areas. One is the quantum uh, the uh, superconducting quantum uh, computing, and another. Uh, area is a uh, neutral atom quantum computing area. So, uh, as, as, as discussed in the uh, morning session, uh, Korea uh, has a very strong uh, the, uh, research uh, you know, positioning on the uh, neutral atom uh, the qubit uh, studies. So we, we have uh, one of the, uh, you know, the researchers uh, who is, a, uh, uh, is one of the fir uh, first one who created this uh, new uh, neutral, uh, you know, neutral atom qubits. Uh, so, uh, so the Korean community is, uh, is building a strong uh, uh, team of uh, developing a neutral uh, quantum computing, uh, neutral atom quantum computing technologies. And also, uh, uh, quantum sense technology. We uh, the CRIS, uh, you know, Korea uh, Research Institute for uh, Standardization in Science and Technology. Uh, and uh, that, that is very, uh, uh, has a strong uh, positioning on the quantum, uh, the uh, sensing and the atomic clocks and you know, everything. That, so we have a, a strong meteorology uh, development group. And also, as I just said before, uh, there are uh, there are strong uh, the research uh, groups in uh, quantum, uh, the, uh, I mean, QKD area. Okay. so. Uh, yeah, the international collaboration programs are, uh, you know, uh, we uh, have the two uh, major track. One is international cooperation for quantum uh, science and technology. This is one of the uh, programs that our government sponsors. And another one is a quantum science and technology talent build up. Uh, this is for the personal exchange of the uh, uh, student, students and postdocs uh, to go over, overseas. Um, and uh, QSILA, the uh, Quantum Computing Industry Leaders Alliance, uh, you know, is formed actually last year. So uh, it, it is a very new, uh, new organization and efforts to bring up the quantum industries in, in Korea. Okay. Currently, uh, we, have, uh, about, we have about 43 uh, companies in this uh, alliance. And uh, as you can see, you, you can probably see a lot of uh, you know familiar names like you know uh, Samsung and uh, LG and also Postco and and those are you know con uh, the, the large companies are also member of this uh, this uh, industry alliance. And uh, we are uh, uh, and I mean these uh, these are kind of leading the uh, industry efforts uh, with other you know small uh, startup ventures. And uh, we have a very uh, strong uh, the uh, the collaborative uh, you know relationship between uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, big companies and also big tech uh, you know, companies uh, with the uh, uh, the, uh, the venture startups now. Uh, so uh, we and uh, government is uh, seeing this one as a very, very great uh, opportunity for uh, to grow in the in, in this uh, area. So. Um, yeah, that, that's uh, uh, kind of st uh, current stage. And uh, QCLA is a, uh, uh, four, uh, has a four working groups that you know uh, that uh, uh, provides the uh, uh, the activity activities so to the following uh, areas of the uh, discover quantum computing, use cases and business models, and also uh, we want to gather proposals for government R and D. 
and also establish domestic and international cooperations and hosting technology network events and the industry ex exhibits too. So this is uh, the recent uh, activities by the, uh, the QSILA, okay, and uh, which is uh, Quantum Korea uh, that happened in the, you know, just last month. And we had a you know, global you know, uh, presence in these activities. And then, um, yeah, and so, uh, and QSILA is now seeking uh, global networking, uh, just like, you know, you know the QSTAR and uh, you know, QEDC and QIC, QEEC, all those uh, have uh, uh, formed an alliance among these uh, national efforts, right? Uh, QSILA is also seeking uh, to have that kind of uh, networking uh, to grow the, uh, the industry, uh, industrialization in the mm -hmm. Korean uh, community. So uh, we are uh, so we are uh, we are welcome uh, to have any uh, you know build, building of any contact with anyone in in, uh, in this sector of the world. Thank you very much.